Good morning. We are in Cedar Valley Park this morning, a beautiful park, of course, and four weeks away. The parks will be a little less empty because school will be back. Uh, during the pandemic, lots of things have happened, and I'm going to introduce you to four students that made something happen to help other students out there. It's called Peer for Peer. Krishna, I'm going to let you take it away. Perfect. Thank you so much, Frank, for having us join you this morning. My name is Krishna Bambawale, and I'm joined here with four of my five co-founders, Drake, Karam, and Bill. And individually, we're all 17-year-old high school student entrepreneurs at Upper Canada College in Midtown Toronto. But collectively, we actually represent a little more than just ourselves. We represent a team of 20 diverse students from across the GTA that have helped us bring our peer-for-peer -peer vision to life. But more importantly, we are each a physical embodiment of a nascent and welcoming peer-for-peer -peer community that we can't wait to tell you a little bit more about. So what is peer-for-peer? Peer-for-peer, in simple terms, is an online, interactive peer tutoring platform. But really, we're in the business of building community, of uniting students, and of empowering youth. Peer for Peer's mission is to ensure equity in virtual learning and promote virtual companionship in a time that's been very uncertain, isolating, and troubling for students like ourselves. Our vision of creating and binding, creating a community and binding students is achieved through our platform's offerings of free personalized drop-in tutoring sessions as well as specialized classes where you can connect with not only a high school tutor but also a mentor. So in essence, Peer for Peer is an online educational ecosystem founded on the principles of kindness, generosity, and allowing students to support each other in a time of need. So it's totally free. Totally free. Uh, so Drake, when we go on there, what happens? So when you first log on to Peer for Peer and you sign up, first thing you're asked are what are your interests. The reason why we do this is so that you can be matched with a peer tutor that fits your interests. So we can incorporate that mentorship and companionship element. From there, you can either choose group learning, as Krishna was talking about, which is classes and workshops on more specialized topics, or you can go into peer tutoring, where you can learn based on your individual needs and find someone who can help you through your schoolwork during the day. So Karam, as well, like, how did this come up? How did this start? Thank you for asking, Frank. And I'll start with a quick story here. In about late March, the 10 of us got together with friends across the GTA on a student podcast to, dis to discuss the impacts of COVID on our education. Having just gone through the first week of online classes at UCC, we were shocked to hear from some friends, some of whom went to public schools just down the road, at how shocked and anxious they were having, having heard no information about their return to school. For us, we were panicked, confused, and lost at times too, but we could not imagine being disadvantaged for over 50 days without access to teachers and peers in our virtual classroom. Our education is the greatest gift we've been giving, and just seeing these inequities persist online, we sought to give back in the only way we knew how. Socially distanced, learn together is our community tagline, and for Peer for Peer, our story will forever be ingrained in this global pandemic. You guys got it down. You guys got it all down. Now, the question I have now is, how do you guys feel about going back to school? Are you ready? So, uh, Bill can talk about uh, the coming months, but the problems that we've had, uh, two, like two months ago, we did have the summer buffer period, but people missed exams. They didn't get to learn everything they did that year. They missed out on developing a lot of skills. And the reality is, is they're going to do this catch-up program, but parents, uh, as said by the TDSB, may need to be choose and between getting a job and becoming a parent, which is a decision no one should ever make. Kids will not be with their friends, which is honestly your biggest support system. And and kids may have to get a job to pick up and cover for their family. This, all these factors make it extremely hard to learn. And if they're pushed hard, they may not have the support system to fall back on. And that's why at Peer for Peer, will always be there for you. And just to quickly add to what Drake has said, of course, we're students too, and we are tutors and tutees on Peer for Peer as well. So moving forward in the context of a new school year, you can understand that like many other students, we're also quite anxious and uncertain about what the school year might look like. But we're confident knowing that this platform, no matter the variability when it comes to remote learning, synchronous learning at school, Peer for Peer will always be a channel of support no matter what to any student that is looking for that academic or me academic support or mentorship need. Bill, yeah. how do people get a hold of Peer for Peer? So to engage with Peer for Peer, um, you can find us on our website at peerforpeer.ca, um, our social media outlets at Peer for Peer on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And obviously, in, um, just to follow our core, uh, core values, which is to be accessible to everyone, um, it's a free platform that anyone can sign up for. So 
don't hesitate to check us out. Yeah, good job, guys. Good Thank job so overall. Thank Thanks for doing guys. that. You know, students helping students, that's the way for us to get through. We learn and we look at what this pandemic gives us and something it gave us is peer for peer. So thank you very much, guys. We're going to take a break right now. Uh, send it back over to the station. Those are four great guys, but there's also five of the founders. That's a bright spot here in the city of Toronto, guys.